You ever get sucked down one of those rabbit holes of like Facebook videos where like there it's like Asian people making food? I, I don't know, maybe you never have, but I, I just did. For like 45 minutes, I'm sitting there staring at my phone. And it was like some woman in China making these awesome looking dishes and meals and everything. And I'm sitting there drooling. And I, I mean, I'm not even that hungry, but I'm saying, those things, whatever the hell she's making looks good. So, next thing I know, I'm digging around my pantry about to make me an Asian do. I found me some dried Louisiana shrimp with in Chinese writing. Uh... Niguri, Nashimging, <laughs> spicy seafood, and some dried vegetables. No idea who where they came from. I don't even know what kind of vegetables they are. It's they're pretty darn dried, but uh it's about to go in there, and when I'm done, I may even try to eat these with chopsticks. It eat this. It I don't even have chopsticks, but I can make some. I can use a pen, two pens. It's gonna be good. I'll show you when I'm done. I even got some vegetables. I'm gonna throw some onions in there. That's all I need. It needs onions. I gotta find some onions. I know we got onions. I'll be back. Mommy's helping me. She's not supposed to be in the counter. And if mommy sees her, she's gonna yell at her. But look at coming along, right? Now I'm gonna add hot water to it and uh and then cook it in the microwave because I spent 13 years in prison. And screw it. I'm just saying. Could use a stove like a normal person in a pot, but I figured the presentation would stay cool if I kept it in this and just microwaved it. So I'm gonna nuke it for like 10 minutes and it should be good. We shall find out. And at the end, I'm gonna throw a couple eggs on there for protein. Just saying. Maggie, thoughts? Yeah? She's helping. Oh, and I almost forgot garlic. Gotta, you, you gotta have the garlic because no matter what, I'm still there. I might be cooking Chinese food, but I'm still a dago. And so I still got to have mad garlic in there. Maggie, do you approve? Okay. What are you doing, Gun? Asian fusion. Asian fusion. A moment ago, my wife yelled at me and called me an eight-year-old. And I said, I'm at least 12-year-old. Give me some credit. What was the problem? Oh, I, le I left the pantry door open. Yeah. What I've told him 522 times, shut the pantry door behind you. Cats get in there, bugs get in there. Mice the cat in. Maggie got in there, and I have no, like, I can't reprimand Maggie. She just does what she okay, wants. Okay, you pull her out. She, hadn't, she was under the thing. Then you there. wait until she gets out. And you nope, shut the I door. want to make my Chinese food. What is that? So, so Asian fusion. This is what happens when you go down a rabbit hole. Well, yeah, yeah. I come in the house because I work outside in a little shed, and he's she shed. He's all fascinated by this. Asian woman who's making rice paper. Five minute video. He's like, I gotta send this to you. I'm like, I don't really care. It's amazing. I, I gotta go to bed. I gotta finish my night up. I mean, it's 10 o'clock at night. Next thing you know, he's. 45 minutes go by. <laughs> staring at the phone. Still. He's got this Asian woman who's making this protein bar thing or whatever. And then, and then she was making something. And he's now he's using skewers. No, but, these are chopsticks. You gotta turn them the other way around, honey. What do you mean? But, Why? Because you don't want the pointy side. You want the why not? Because it's easier with the other side. Trust me, they're they're not chopsticks. They're skewers. Turn them around. All right, wise ass. I'm helping. All right, uh, let's see how does this work. You don't know how to use chopsticks. I don't, no, not really. But I do. I will say this. Let's take a look at it. It turned out delicious. There's what a, is in there? I see ramen noodles. There's a uh, shrimp. And yeah. Rye shrimp, my Vietnamese friend, Mike Nugent, that's the closest I can get to pronouncing his name, um, sent me this stuff. He went, he's a Vietnamese friend of mine from YouTube, and then he sent me on to Vietnamese food. But what's yeah. in there? Um, shrimp's good. Uh, vegetables, there were some dried vegetables I found in the pantry that are, um, they look like mushrooms and stuff, yeah. peas and all kinds of stuff. And, yeah. I, and so that looked good. I put that in, dried up, put in hydrated. Then this is basically just like, like a ramen noodle, but like a better one spicy uh, where'd you get the seasonings the seasoning was in the ramen noodle so oh. <laughs> i threw some fresh garlic in there um uh, chives a little bit of carrot onion celery what's is there meat in there there's a couple of eggs i threw a couple oh, of eggs, eggs in there. Yeah, so yeah. You, you can see for protein i threw some eggs in there so i don't know that that, that could be a that's some kind of 
That could be a, a morel mushroom. I don't think it's morel. I'm not sure mushroom. what that is, but it's Asian flavor. <laughs> and so, the moral is, honestly, I was going to make pancakes. But then I said, you know what? I'm trying to be healthier and not eat a bunch of high carbs at night before bed. Sugary carbs. Hi, Bing. Get down, Bing. Um, so I and said. That's because your poor wife did not make dinner. <laughs> yeah, my poor wife. Poor wife, meaning she worked 15 hours today. Just, I never complain when you don't make dinner, do you? I know, you don't. I don't but, care. but I'm glad to. If you happen to not make dinner, I just make something like that. Yeah, exactly. And I, I'm quite grateful never. for that. But I'm glad you didn't make pancakes, though. Yeah, well, I almost did. But, but, anyways, I made Asian fusion. And, and this is gangster, but this is uh, harkens back to my prison time. You know what I'm saying? It's a prison deal. Well, kind of. This is what I would make in prison. Now, now people might see this now as like, but in prison, this is a this is a gourmet masterpiece. And basically, what I ate every night in prison, some variation thereof. And the guys in prison were like drool over this because you know they'd eat the chow hall. I'd make my own food, and I would make it with shrimp and bacon and chicken because my loved ones took care of me, my wife and my friends. And they allowed me to afford that. Plus, I always had a plug in the kitchen and the garden. So I had fresh vegetables and meat and cheese and everything. Anyways, this is going to be delicious. I have a feeling this is perfect for a bedtime meal. I mean, it's always a good idea to eat four or 500 calories. At 11.15. At 11.15 at night. Four or 500? Now, let's see. What do you think that is? That's got to be. Uh, it's more like six, seven. Yeah, you think it's that much? Yeah. Let me see if I can. Huh? Like a, like a freaking Japanese. Do Japanese use chopsticks? Oh, uh, I'm assuming they do. Yeah, where do you think sushi comes from? Yeah, but mm, delicious. But do they eat with chopsticks? Well, yeah, you eat sushi with chopsticks. All Asians eat with chopsticks? M many of them. Korean? Probably. Vietnamese? I go, yes. I was Maggie running through the house. I didn't know all Asians eat with chopsticks. Now there's just Chinese people. Mm. Mm. You look so Asian right I know. Now. And shrimp? Aged. And shrimp's good. Thank you, Mike. I'm actually doing pretty good with these anytime. <laughs> it's, like it's like a stampede. A Looney Tunes cartoon. If you happen to hear the stampede run through the house, it's being a Maggie playing. All right. Well, so well, I'm well, authentic here with the chopsticks. I'm not sure you're quite doing it right, but whatever. It's all right. Um, I mean, and I was busting her balls. I'm like, oh, we gotta have some chopsticks. We don't have any chopsticks. She's like, you don't have to use straws. Come on, it's it's cats, a, man. Not a cat up here. That's Nico. And she goes, I said, I know I've seen some skewers around here or something. <laughs> and so she busts these out. These, these are pretty close to chopsticks, that's all I'm saying. Chopsticks are square, though, aren't they? They're smaller, I mean. And square. I think that gives you more, yeah. more surface space. Anyways, I'm gonna switch to a fork in a second and hammer down. So, hope you enjoyed my, uh, whole evening recipe. I mean, you can make dinner from now on, love. Nope. <laughs>